we are once again eternally grateful for another Lord's Day to worship you in spirit and in truth. And Lord, we thank you for keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger this past week. Thank you, Lord God, for clothing us in our right mind. Thank you for our health today. And Lord, we are eternally grateful for Jesus being our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer, our soon coming King. And Lord, we pray for the United States of America. Lord God, we just thank you for all our leaders in authority today, our president, his cabinet, his family, every federal worker, every state worker, every local worker in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray, Lord God, that, that they hear your voice as they make decisions this week. And they don't follow or hear the voice of a stranger. But they hear your voice, they obey your voice. And Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all of our <coughs> military. Thank you for all those who serve right now. Pray for their families in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you today for everyone who's present in the sanctuary and those who are listening online. We pray above all things that we all may prosper and be in health even as our souls prosperous in that. We pray, Father God, that you uh, lead and guide us this week and that we be obedient to way, the ways that you are leading and guiding us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word going forth, unhindered, uninterrupted by any demonic evil of our force. And we thank you that today your word will be burning, moving, yoke, destroying power of God. In the blessed name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tell somebody around you that you love them and that you're glad to see them today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We thank God for you being here. Good to see that brother Charles, right? That you, he's not Charles. Are you, are you a mechanic? <laughs> no, he's, I can see somebody else. You know who you look like. <laughs> and when it's not him, I figure that out now. But we're glad to have my guests to come. Thank God for you being here. Thank God for these young people, young men that are here today. Thank God. Good to see y'all today. Thank you. What's who y'all go to? And y'all middle? Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. You live in Knoxville, well, this is a good city. We have a young man here who uh, transport himself back and forth from Clarkson to Nashville. <laughs> and what school you go to? Antioch High School? Middle school? Middle school? Uh, and I'm glad to have y'all young men today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do y'all play ball? Football? You play football? What position do you play? Wow, but you look you look, you look fast. <coughs> you, play, you, you look like you can shoot. Can you hoop? You can. And are you do you have hands? You play running back too? Speak fast. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> I, you, you, you see, I, I see game can recognize game. <laughs> uh, I played receiver and running back in high school. So yesterday was his birthday. Y'all hanging out with this young man? What time y'all get in this morning? <laughs> <laughs> um, y'all feed the filth? 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy happy belated birthday, sir. Everybody, praise God. But put your hands. My brother, he played football, he played for Tennessee State, and he taught me how to do my hands like this right here to catch the ball. You got, <laughs> you got to spread them out. Right? Spread them out. You got to spread them out. He taught me that back in the seventies, and I was telling them I was over with fish yesterday, and I was telling them that. And so you got to spread out them hands. And we got to, yeah, you got to spread them out. Yeah, you got to spread them out. Catch that ball. Keep, you got to watch it all the way in, too. Keep your eyes on the ball. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And what's your, what's your first name? All right, we'll be looking for you, you know, and be in the news. Yeah, I see your talent. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your talent. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many of y'all older people, y'all played a sport when y'all was coming up? Hey man, see, I see your hands. I see your hands. Y'all can tell this young man a couple of things, baby. Hey man, see, see, once you learn a couple of things in sport, you never forget, right, brother Danny? Hey man, my brother Danny, my brother Larry, Cleveland. I mean, they can watch a game and tell that coach, if he can coach or not. <laughs> Those players are going to be good. I'll never go to a Basketball game with that young man right there. <laughs> Tell him to find a keyboard. <laughs> Insane, but All right, praise God. Okay, well, praise God. Let's get into the word for today. Good. I'm glad those who are here and uh, praise God for the word of God. Amen. Uh, we kind of this message today. Uh, write this down if you're writing or you're taking notes. Uh, developing Christ like. Developing a Christ-like mindset for healing. Developing a Christ-like mindset for healing. And it's, it's very important as far as what kind of mindset that you have. Um, one, thing, one thing is on what Jesus did. Uh, especially like if you get attacked with sickness or disease. See, many times, see, like when, when a person gets attacked with a sickness or, or disease, they start identifying with the sickness or disease instead of what Christ <laughs> or having or developing or keeping a Christ like mindset. And so, you know, and the devil will attack you gradually as far as your thinking. Where he'll get you, he'll get you to start paying more, more attention to the sickness or disease or the viruses or the germs. That's what he'll do. And you'll pay less attention to what Jesus did uh, on a good Friday. I say you pay less attention to what Jesus did for you in the area of healing on a good Friday. But we have and we should maintain or develop a mindset concerning healing based on what Jesus did for us. Are y'all here today? And so praise God. I first turn your Bible over to Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. And in Acts 10, Acts 10 and verse 38. Uh, this is one of our favorite scriptures. We always tell people that this is one of our favorite scriptures. Uh, Acts 10, 38 says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. <laughs> now, now, one thing we do know, and the word in John, was adding his own in there with this verse, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Now, Jesus was the first one to bring the God kind of help and healing. He was the first one to bring to bring the God kind, the God kind of healing. Or here, let me say it like this, or health. Jesus was. So how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, because this is the place where healing or not healing, Health or not health, God, it'll work in you. God did. This is a place where 
and your spirit got the, the very God kind of life came on the inside of you. The very God kind of health came on the inside of you. The, the, the God kind of healing came on the inside of you. Hear me now. You will never ever be sick. Thank you, Lord. Another day in your life in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you need to have that kind of mindset concerning who you are in Christ Jesus. Because the real you can't never ever be sick. Uh, I shared a couple of weeks ago on a Wednesday night. The real you can never be lost again. Right. Hallelujah. And it is a total package. Mm -hmm. I said it is part of the deal, the package. And so the real you can't be sick another day in your life in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of mindset that you're supposed to develop as a Christ follower. Mm -hmm. Many people don't. Many people don't. Many people don't. People go talking about, mm -hmm. I'm sick. I'm sick. No, no, the real you're not sick. The real you can't never be sick. You might be attacked on the outside, but the outside, your earth suit don't determine if you well or sick. Yeah. Not the outside. You know, this is just the house that we live in. And, and like the songwriter said, there's a leak in this building. It's a leak in the building, but there's no leak in the spirit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because the spirit, been, the, the spirit been sealed until the day of redemption. And so there is a leak in this building, and one day your soul has got to move. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's gotta move, gotta move. And one thing I do know, you know, when we exit our physical body, we don't get no sickness, no disease, no death, no sorrow, no crime, no pain. We don't take none of that stuff with us when we leave. None of that goes with us. None of us goes with that. All of that stays behind. All of that is left behind. Hallelujah. And so we need to develop a Christ-like a Christ-like mindset a Christ-like mindset for him. Because we say a lot of times now, now check this out what we said. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. You have, can I can I add another verse to that? The part of that? The help of God on the inside. Working on the outside. Hallelujah. Oh, what a change. Hallelujah. On the outside. Uh -huh. Are y'all catch that? I said, oh, what a change on the outside. Because the very health of God working on the inside. And we have to keep the very health of God stirring up on the inside of us. And oh, what a change on the outside. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so uh, Acts 10, 38 said, that was just my introduction, one of them. Um, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Uh -huh. You know, many times, I, I'm, I'm getting stuck right there. I keep, the Lord just keep at it. You know, many times, people always want to tell you, well, you know, you got to die or something. The you is not going to never, ever die. Mm -hmm. See, mo most of the time, we identify with the outer man instead of the inner person or the inner man. Mm -hmm. But the real you would never, ever die. You're just gonna, you just gonna be caught up out of your physical body one day. I said you just gonna be caught up out of your physical body one day because God, God already have the best exit plan for your spirit to leave your body. I said He already has have the best exit plan for your spirit to leave your body. But people want to tell you, well, you gotta die of something one day. No, no, why don't they tell you you got to live for something one day? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, let me, let me see if I finish this first. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. That's, that's, that's the kind of mindset all to have with Jesus. That Jesus went about doing good. He's good all the time. And all the time, he is good. And so Jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. That's the mindset I ought to have with Jesus. 
Jesus is the one that healed all that were or are oppressed of the devil. The whole of oppression that the devil once had on you, he does not have, he does not have no longer. Yeah. Oppression should be a thing in the past for you now. Somebody shout about that now. Yeah. And you ought to be saying, I would be oppressed, oppressed, depressed another day in my life in Jesus' name because this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, the world can't take it away. This joy that I have is my strength today. It's my strength today, this joy that I have. Hallelujah. And so if you submit, I like that, I like that young man saying hallelujah. I heard it. Submit to God, because I heard one of y'all when we was praising the Lord up there and they singing. I heard one of y'all back there. Yeah, I heard one of them back there. You know, young people praise the Lord. What a, what a, oh, what a blessing. With young people. Yeah, but they praise, they praise the Lord. And so he'll and all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. God was with Jesus. Can you imagine what it is like to have God with you? <laughs> Can you imagine what it is like to have God, knowing that you know that God is with you? God was with Jesus while he was on earth. And the same God who with Jesus now dwelleth in you. And Jesus is saying to us today, I want you to know uh, how it is having daddy in you. I want you to know what it feels like, how to have an experience with the spirit of Christ on the inside of you. I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know. For yourself. I want you to know. God in you. Emmanuel. God in you. God with you. God was with him. And, and just like how he was with Jesus. Is he with you today? Amen. You better shout about that today. Amen. Know that you know that God is with you. And that when, when, it's, when you know that God is with you, there's nothing that can take place in your life that he can't handle or not already handle for you. Nothing, nothing. You know, you don't, you don't have a God in your life that can't handle the problems that people are facing in this world. You don't have a God in your life who cannot handle every sickness and disease, virus and germs that people face in this life. He's not a weak kind of God. That's right. And he lived it where? Oh, you better shout about him being inside of you. And then, because he's inside of you, he'll never be against you. Because if God be for you, he's more, he's more than the world against you. Well, hallelujah. So God was with him. I get that? That's 1038. I got that. You're talking about developing a Christ mindset. Now, turn your Bibles over to this is one of my favorites too, 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 1 Thessalonians 5.23. You got the Bible on your phone? Oh, yeah, I got the Bible on your phone. Oh, all right, I like that. <laughs> keep it up. Hallelujah. Yeah, 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says, And the very God of peace, and the very God of peace, he's a God of what? Peace. 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 And the, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Hmm. Sanctify you holy. The Amplified says, through and through, separate you from, from profane things, make you pure and wholly consecrated to God. So this is how he's making you. You have to have a, a different kind of mindset how the Lord is making you. You have to have a different kind of mindset as far as how the Lord is making you. 
And so, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And then Paul had the nerve to say, and I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body. There are some things that you ought to be praying and then in front of the word of God. And then there are some things you ought not be praying for the word of God. And many times what happens if you have or develop the wrong kind of mindset, you'll be praying and meditating on the things you ought not be meditating on and ought not be praying instead of the things you ought to be praying for the word of God. Did y'all get that? <laughs> and so Paul said, I pray. Paul said, I, and I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be presented blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are the way that you know you've been sanctified holy unto the Lord. And you'll never ever look like what you've been through. Spirit, soul, and body. There ought to be a good washing of your mind when you live in to receive this kind of prayer for you. There ought to be a different kind of mindset that you have concerning your physical body. Because my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in me. And so, you know, I just can't treat my body any kind of way. I just can't go around committing adultery and fornicating and drinking and drugging and doing all those kind of things that destroy my temple. I can't just keep putting junk food in. Because junk food in, junk food stays. And let me just get off for a second. I've been off of a minute. Let me get off for a second. Uh, I thought about taking some donuts over to uh, Fisk University yesterday before I went to the women's prison. Because they had game day, they had game day's campus ministry, they had game day. And so uh, you know, I was there having set up and signing in students for the game day. And I thought about stopping at Krispy Kreme Donuts. I had coupon. I had two coup couple of coupons. And I get through the I get, I go through the drive-thru. And the lady got on there, she said, Can I help you? I said, I want to know if you have any specials today. And then she said, Well, I don't know. Do you have the rewards? I said, No, I don't have the rewards. I don't have the app for the rewards. And then she said, Well, uh, we don't have any specials. I said, Well, how much is a dozen of glaze donuts? She said, $16. Because I had a mindset, I was going to get a dozen of glaze, and then I wanted to get a dozen of uh, uh, chocolate glaze. That's what my mindset was. That's what I was going to get. And, and, and she said, uh, $16 or something. I said, How much did it cost? She said, $16. So I, I, I'm in the drive thru. I get up there. She was not up at the drive thru window. Some guy I said, hey, she told you wrong. She told me the price is going to be sixteen. Now I, I, I was happy to pay two dozens for sixteen dollars and, and some change. But then he said, "No, sixteen dollars is some a dozen, so it's going to be thirty-two dollars, thirty-three dollars, thirty-three dollars." I said, "What she told me is only going to be sixteen. I said, "I don't want the dollars now." <laughs> and I had enough money in my pocket. I had my my, my credit card. I had my debit card. I had money in my pocket. But I just refused. I had I had a mindset yesterday morning that I was gonna pay that much for two dozen of donuts. When I remember you get a dozen for how much during the day? Back in the day? Uh, for a dozen. For a dozen. For a dozen. But that's over a dollar a dozen. I mean, that's over a dollar. For every, every donut, my brother had some donuts yesterday. I, I, I saw him yesterday. He said, you want a donut? I, I didn't want a donut because I know how much they cost. So I, was like, I don't even want a donut. He <laughs> you know, like blueberry and whatever flavor. But I said, no, I, I, told him, I told him my story. I told him that story yesterday. I said, it's too expensive. I said, you can go to Crystal Burger and get you a Crystal Burger cheaper than you can get a donut. <laughs> at, least you get a, at least you get a not even a slice, a half, a, a, a pinch of meat. <laughs> you get a pinch of meat with all that bread and that mustard and that one triple. <laughs> I like Krispy Kreme and Crystal in competition now. 
which one is going to have to do with another? Because both of them, you know, <laughs> overpriced. <laughs> I remember when Christmas work used to be 25 cents. They just said, Oh, I knew somebody was going to say that. I knew somebody was going to say that. Be dying, dying. They went up on the price, but then they go up on the quality. Oh, it's still a gas program. Right? Right. Uh, gut buster, gut buster. It's still, it's still, it's still high. It's still. <laughs> okay. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. <laughs> and I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mindset. And, and, and one thing I encourage you to do, start confessing this verse right here daily. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. This verse right here in the very God of peace, sanctified you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless to the coming of the Lord Jesus. It, it will change your mindset. If you, if you pray this, if you confess this daily, not based on how you're feeling. And hear me now, not based on you trying to get something from God. But God is trying to get something to you. Y'all hear the difference? Y'all hear the difference? And so now, now I'm turning to one of them, my favorites. I'm talking about developing a developing a Christ-like mindset for healing. Turn over to 1 Peter 2.24. 1 Peter 2.24, and in 1 Peter 2.24, it says, in 1 Peter 2.24, who is own self, who is own self, bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That's what Jesus did. Now, he did it for who? Obeying his Dad, because God so loved us, because God so loved us. So who his own self bear our sins in his own body. Now, now the reason why this is so important, uh, as far as who his own self bear our sins in his own body, you know what? This stop death from coming to us. Because without sin, death can't come. I said without sin, death can't come. Mm -hmm. And so God has guarded us or sealed our spirit in order that uh, sin can't come to our spirit man. I, I got to see this now. Sin can't come to our spirit man because it's been, it's been, it, it's been sealed. And so can't no curse of death enter into your spirit once you get born again. Because like when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, that was sin of death. And it was all the, all the byproducts of death, sickness, disease, murder, killing, drug abuse, overdose. It brought all the different sins of the world were byproducts of death. The curse of the law is a byproduct, byproduct of death. And so, you know, people say, well, you know, they just sin and they, you know, they die spiritually first and then physically next. But that was passed on to all of us. Yeah. Byproducts. That's why sometimes we don't have the right people in political office because of the death cycle. Y'all catch that? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes our schools are struggling as far as an administration and teachers and support staff because of the death cycle. Because I guarantee you, I'll catch this in the spirit, I guarantee you, the type of education that kids are getting now, it was not God's will from the beginning. It was not God's will from the beginning. God desired from the beginning that he would be the teacher of all teachers for his creation. Amen. He taught Adam and Eve in the garden. That's right. And Adam and Eve was when they were taught by the way they were made. 
because God made them and he breathed into them, to, uh, into them life. They were made in the very image and the likeness of God. That's teaching. That's teaching. Because God gave Adam the ability to name all the animals in the garden. That's teaching. Teaching from how he was made. Teaching how from how he was made in the very likeness and the image of God. And then many times we get caught up. We, 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 you know, we get caught up or, or we join church. We become new believers. But we never know to live that you have the greatest teacher that you will ever need. And where is he in relation to you? On the inside of you. On the inside of you. On the inside of you. But many times what we do, we accept lesser teachers for education. Instead of the teacher of all teachers. That's why Jesus was able, when he was 12 years old, to be in the temple and teaching the religious people and the doctors of the law. During his time, 12 years old. Why? Because of how he was made. <laughs> how he was made. And so it says here, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to now we dead to sins. We dead to sins. The real you now is dead to sins. That's why we tell you here, now you have to sin through your actions, through your thought life, and through what comes out of your mouth. But if you ever get your thought life, your actions, and your mouth to be and stay connected with the new person on the inside, you will begin to sin less. I'm not going to say you'll never ever sin, but I'll say you'll begin to sin less when you get connected right. Because he will teach you. It's no, it's no teaching like how the Spirit of God leads you. It's no teaching how the Spirit of God guides you. It's no teaching how you know that you know that the Spirit of wisdom dwells in you and teaches you all things. Y'all better get this today. I'm moving forward in 2024. You're going to need some wisdom from God how to live a victorious life in this world. Because you're going to find out that yesterday living is not going to work in 2024. This is a new day. And it is a new norm that we are faced to live in in 2024. And so you're going to have to have the very wisdom of God in order to live a victorious Christ-like kind of life. And then you'll stop murmuring and complaining and grumbling about what's going on. And you'll spend more time with the Lord and let the Lord lead you, let the Lord guide you, let the Lord give you instruction in righteousness. Because many times how people are living today, the new it just seemeth right to only be eating, drinking, and being married. Hanging out with a whole lot of young people at a park. Shooting goes on. Hanging out with a whole lot of young people. I, uh, uh, when, when I left, when I left, when I left uh, uh, Women's Prison yesterday, I stopped over at uh, Chick fil A Metro Center. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, you know, one of our instructors, as far as it, they said, you know, some of the students said they wouldn't come to game day. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but they were not going to come to game day because they were going to freak like over GSU. Mm -hmm. Think of freak night. It's called freak night. Mm -hmm. huh? It's called freak night. And so I was sitting there in the uh, chick fil out there eating, and these girls came in there with some Daisy Duke shorts on. You don't go to Chick fil A with Daisy Duke. Because Chick-fil-A is supposed to be a family, Christian, close to that. <laughs> for, their, for their workers, members who all, you know, workers can go to church today. If they choose, they can go to church. So they don't, they don't, they don't have to be like 
Oh, oh, my manager won't let me off on Sunday. I want to go to church. See, they, they don't have that kind of, they don't have it. Some people say, well, the reason why I don't go to church is because I have to work. Well, if you really want to go to church, go work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't want to work at Chick fil Well, you don't want to be off on Sunday to go to church. Right. You don't have no excuse. When you're off at Chick fil A, you know Chick fil A can come on Sunday. You can go to church in the morning and you can go in the evening and still work at the work, get to work on Monday. <laughs> Are y'all getting this? But it's a different kind of mindset that you ought to have. And so, little girls came with that. And I didn't think about it until I heard about some drama that took place, you know, last night, early this morning. I was like, oh, I know why they came in there now, Saturday afternoon. It was close to TSU. So they were, ah, oh, now I know. Now I know why they came in with their easy dudes on in their cowboy boots. Oh, now I know. But thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. But the only reason why I'm saying that is because we have to develop a different type of mindset as far as being believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Are y'all here? Yeah. Who is on self by our sins and his own body in the tree that we've been dead to sin should live a righteousness. You have to develop a mindset now, a uh, Christ like mindset that you're going to live. The way he made you in right standing with him. You now in right standing with the Lord. And so it is important to know that you're supposed to live unto righteousness and not live unto sin. But live unto righteousness. And so in order to develop a true type of way to live unto righteousness, the way to do that is that you need to hear righteous teaching. <laughs> Because you to have the right kind of consciousness. But if you all the time come up in here and I'm talking about sin, 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 well, you develop a mindset for sinning instead of a mindset for living a righteous kind of life. Amen? Amen. And so uh, then the last part of that says, by whose stripes you were healed, by whose stripes, by whose wounds, by the wounds of Jesus, you are healed. By the wounds of Jesus, you are healed. You were healed. You were healed. And see, what, what, what confuses a lot of people many times concerning healing is that, well, you keep telling me past tense, Jesus already healed me, so why do I deal with sickness or disease in my body? Because a lot of times we don't know how to distinguish or discern between the spirit and the physical body. We have a spiritual body, and then we have a physical body, and then we just freak out when our physical body is attacked with sickness and disease. But that's not the real you. You are a spirit. You possess a soul, and the real you live in a physical body. And the physical body is the only part of redemption that you have not received yet. Because this body in which we live in, in is the can, is getting older. And Jesus, now God told Adam and Eve, the day you eat of that fruit, you shall surely die. And man been dying physical death ever since. Ever since. Well, I don't count Once you exit your physical body, you will never know physical death another day in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll never know. You'll never know physical death another day in your life. In Jesus' name. That's why Paul said, you know, I've grown in this body, in this tabernacle of claim. He said, sometimes I just want to leave from this tabernacle of claim. Come on, I've grown. I, 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 I have a desire to be absent from this body and present with the Lord. But if this earthly house of this tabernacle be dissolved, I got a building. 
So this right here is only a temporary dwelling place. It's only temporary. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. But it's only temporary. Temporary, temporary dwelling place. Because this right here is not my home. This right here is not your home. Hallelujah. And so praise God. Praise God. Now, another one of my, my, my favorites, I think I mentioned this in my prayer. Turn over to 3 John. 3 John 2. 3 John 2. Y'all get anything. Uh, turn over to 3 John 2. And in 3 John 2, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things, I wish above all things, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thou so prosperest. Yeah, yeah. Beloved, beloved, beloved. Beloved, beloved, beloved. The Amplified Bible says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well. Hmm. Hallelujah. Even as I know your soul keeps well and prospers. Is that in line with what we're talking about? Developing Developing a Christ-like mindset for healing. Is that in line right here? Is that in line to what we're talking about? Developing a Christ-like mindset for healing. Is this in line right? Is that in line? Beloved, I pray. See, this is something you need to be praying. You know, don't, 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 don't just start praying when you get attacked with sickness and disease. Learn how to maintain healing and health in your physical body. Learn how to maintain. And then, you know, many times, though, we need to learn how, hear me now, this church right here, we need to learn how to, when we do exit our physical body, we don't go out sick. We just go out because we finish our, we just finish. We just finish. It's just like Jesus on, you know, on the cross, uh, he said, Father, and two of our hands. I what? And so you, you need to have a day that you say, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. <laughs> and then let your physical body just go on sleep. Hallelujah. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? <laughs> Knowing that you know that you have, you know, Father, into your hands. I commit my spirit unto you. <laughs> See, God knew what he was doing when he brought us in this world. And God knows what he's doing to take us out. He knows what he's doing. He knew what he was doing to bring us in. Because you've been, you've been fearfully and wonderfully made in the very image and the likeness of... Let me say this too. I'm thinking about it. This is... This is second or third or fourth. You know, on social media, a lot of these women, a lot of these women is using that AI and it is just like, ah, they think they looking good. So, you know, they want to look like Hollywood, right? They want to look like Hollywood. They want to look like Hollywood. And then people get on and say, oh, you look so good. You look so, but hey, if you see the person, And, and I can't make this post yet because I want to say, ladies, 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 God have, have made you fearfully and wonderfully in his image and likeness and nothing that you do as far as AI compares. Yeah. Nothing compares with how the Lord really made you. Nothing compares to how the Lord really made you because how he made you is real. How AI is making you up uh, is what? Artificial. Artificial. It's fake. And so what, what are you saying, preacher man? A lot of people are, 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 are more in tune, have a mindset of the fake instead of the real. And they keep looking at the fake and start thinking that the fake is real and that the real is fake. That's the wrong kind of mindset to have in 2020. 
four. Because you, you, take a good look at yourself. You've been fearfully and wonderfully made. And beloved, I pray above all things, you may prosper and be in hell. Look at yourself and start quoting this to yourself. That you be in hell. That you, the real you, be in hell. The real you be in hell, even as your soul prosper. That's why, like I said, sometimes here at church, I look in the mirror and say, hey, you anointed man of God. God lives in you. Are you excited about God living in you? See, I don't need no outsider to tell me that I am anointed man of God because God made me anointed man of God. You don't need no outsiders to tell you, man, that you are anointed man of God. God made you anointed man of God. You ladies don't need no AI to tell you how to think and to feel about yourself. You are an anointed woman of God because God made you in his likeness and in his image. And you got to get to the way you appreciate how God made you. But girl, you know how to walk. You know how to talk. You know how to think. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I never see none of y'all walking up into a, a chick or neighbor some days to do something. I never see none of y'all walk up in. I never see none of y'all walk up in. I never see none of y'all because, you know, you've been fearfully and wonderfully made. And sometimes you need to stay private. You don't need to stay private. Can I get a witness up in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preaching about this. Some of y'all responded. Hallelujah. Because he's like, you know, a lot of times the people who 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 snap the video, take the pictures, on the inside, they laughing at you. They're like, look at that fool, 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 look at that fool right there, look at that fool, look at that fool right there. Because you don't see them doing it. Only thing you see them doing is Getting a video, trying to get clicks. Okay, okay, okay. Let me close this little talk because I see it going away. You need to know this. The life of Jesus Christ is the same in me. Let me hear you say that, confess it. The life of Jesus Christ, the of Jesus Christ is the same in me it's the same in me. Yesterday, yesterday, today, today, and forever. And forever. Jesus, Jesus took the keys of death, the keys of death and, hell and hell from the devil. From the devil. Therefore, death, Therefore, death has, no authority has no authority over my life. Oh, my. Can y'all shout out there? Oh, you confess this. My mind. My mind is renewed by who Jesus is and what he did for me. My mind is renewed by who Jesus is and what he did for me. Live daily by the faith of the Son of God who loved me, gave himself for me, and took away my sins. I am Jesus minded only. I am life minded only. And confess. Yeah, that to be spiritually minded, be spiritually minded. is life and peace. A merry, cheerful, glad heart works like Madison in my physical body. A merry, cheerful, glad heart Works like Madison in my physical body. Hey, 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 hey. And lastly, Jesus got me happy and full of joy. Go ahead and give him praise.
Father, we bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me ask a question. All you young men right there. Because um, I'm kind of teaching here. If, if, if you, young man, if you were to die today, you know what? You're going to spend eternity in heaven or hell. Do you know? You don't know? Can't help. Can't help. They got no fun saying. Do, do you know? Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Let me ask this question. Have you ever asked Jesus to come into your heart and save you? Have you ever? Have you ever, with your mind, asked Jesus to come into your heart and save you? You have. What did he do when he came in your heart? What did he do when he came in your heart? Hmm? What did he do? You don't know? Okay. All right. Today, I want you to leave out knowing that God, what's your first name? Hmm? MJ. 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 Leave out MJ with a different kind of mindset. Because your mindset got to change. And see, when your mindset change, you, you, you won't be led astray by other you. Because you, when you have an assurance that you know that you know, Jesus is in your life, and that God so loved MJ that God, you know, God so loved MJ that He gave His only begotten. Look at me, MJ. That God so loved MJ that He gave His only begotten Son. That if MJ believe in Him, that means MJ will go to hell, perish, but that MJ will have eternal, everlasting life. You get that, right? <clears throat> What's that? What is that? Okay. And so I, I want MJ to leave out better than he came in the family of faith church today. Right? Old fire for the Lord. Knowing that he knows. And that when you go to school tomorrow at Antioch Middle, when you go to school tomorrow at Antioch Middle, and then you, you know your friends will take a look at you and say, MJ, what happened to you? You didn't come to you didn't come to school today like you. You leave on Friday. That's like how you left on Friday. Because you don't really know, MJ, that you know in the morning, when you go before you go to school, when you get in school, when you get out of school, you know that the Lord is with you. And you know what? Then, and then some of your friends, fellow students, you're gonna be able to recognize and to know that God is with you. God's with you. God's with you. And then you're right there. Tell me your name. They have Javion. 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 See, the one thing I know about Javion, he got to call a God on his life. You know that? That's your name. He got to call a God on his life. Yeah. Because he, see, he said, you can look at him and tell him he said, can't you? You're going to tell him that. <laughs> 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 but he said, and see, he got, he got an anointed, a call of God on this life. And that young man over there, he saw him. Oh, they're singing? He think he can sing too. <laughs> but he prophesied better than he sings. <laughs> but he saw him. I see, he saw him. And so when two or three, what's wrong, young man? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. And so you got to call a God on your life, for real. Yeah, yeah. And so... Um, you know, God is working with you, God is working in you, and He's directing your path. And you know, <laughs> God's gonna use you as a leader. See, so you're a leader. Go to school in Clarksville, you know, or you're a leader, you're not a follower, but you're a leader, right? And so, you can't be easily led astray because you are away. You're a leader, you're a leader, and you pay great attention to uh, what God is saying to you, even to tell some of your fellow students. Right. And they respect you for that. Right? Right. And that first time ever meeting you, but this is what the Lord is telling me about you. And that's a blessing. Right. And so God will keep blessing you and anointing you with his word moving forward in 2024. Right? Right. And what do you want me to say about you, sir? <laughs> what do you want me to say about you, Kelly? Mm -hmm. 
Muito, muito bem, seja partido.
Y'all get it? But, but come up here, Mark. I'm going to pray. Lead you in a prayer to give your life to God. You don't mind, do you? Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. So what? You want prayer? You want prayer? Okay, I'll pray for you. Come on up here. 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 Oh, he's holding it for you. Give me, give me this phone back, man. Let's see how much money you got. Check right, your phone, see how much money you got. Go, go make a shout. <laughs> you what? Yeah. You come to church and get $60. Thank you. Amen. Thank the Lord. Just get a lot of things. Amen. 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 I see put a smile on his face. He put a smile on his face. Hallelujah. He put a smile on his face. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, now. MJ, you need prayer? You want to? You, you good? Good. Yeah. 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 Uh-uh. That's how I was up there. I was going to I come to you, 
in the name of Jesus. I open the door of my heart and receive you, Jesus, into my life. Take control of, of my life and make me the kind of new creature you desire me to be. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. And I believe in my heart that you, God, raise your son Jesus from the dead, a new creature in Christ Jesus. My old life just passed away, and I have new life in Christ Jesus. Amen.
He says, no, time has come now when you got to get that opportunity. He's making you a success. He said, how are you going to be a success? Just remember back to the city Seek the first kingdom of God. His will is the will of man. His will is the will of man. Jesus from the dead. And right now, I am, thank you, Lord. I'm saved in Jesus' name. Christ centered church where you can continue to be fed the word of God. That family of nature loves you. Know that Pastor Jerome, him, he singer loves you. And you already know that Jesus loves you because he died for all your sins, took away your sins, and gave you a right to eternal life. So be blessed, my friend, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, and God's been leading and guiding. 